than a year sober. Congratulations. Yeah, it's, uh, thank you. Uh, 1.4. 1.4 years. 1.4, right, yeah. Okay. And can yeah, I don't do months after a year. Okay. It's like a child. Like right. a child's 39 <laughs> months old. And you're <laughs> yeah, like doing the math. Uh, okay, <laughs> cool. Um, uh, wow, that's quite the intro. Yeah. Well, how quite does it feel, intro. actually? Wow, what a highlight reel. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's interesting, actually, as I was playing, I was thinking, I was looking at you out the side of my eye, thinking, how does it feel for you just to have that concentrated burst of all of those... I guess low lights rather than highlights. <laughs> it feels awful. <laughs> I mean, I can't sit here and lie to you. Um, I, I, it's, it's, uh, some of it is very surreal. I, 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 to this day, I'm not sure how I created such chaos and, and, and wound up in that, in that headspace. It's, it's as though there was some alien or, or demonic possession going on, you know? So I mean, that most doesn't likely, feel like you? No, not at all. No, not not where I how I how I'm existing and, and feeling today. You know, yeah. Um, yeah I, I wish I could make a lot of it go away, but uh, they wouldn't call it the past if it wasn't. Mm. You know, looking, and, looking uh, back, I mean, you have a, a, you know very very successful body of work in Hollywood. Thank you. Um, but looking back, when do you think? the rot started to set in for you personally with what was going on inside your head? The what started to set in? The rot. The rot. We, we, it's a British <laughs> phrase. We say, when does the rot start to set British in? Thing. It's like a thing of when, when do you think your problems started? Got it. When it started to derail, essentially. Yeah. 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 I'm going to use the rot from now on. <laughs> Like, dude, what happened? You're oh, the, the, the rot started to set in. <laughs> now I have an excuse. Awesome. Awesome. I, I think, you know, it, it, it wasn't so much um, uh, what was going on with Two and a Half on, on the show with the people that were there. They were, they were, they were doing, their, doing their jobs and, and, and doing them very well, you know? And I just, uh, I think people forget that, that I went through uh, two divorces um, and had four children during during two and a half. So that's kind of a lot. The other side of that is is uh, you got to park that stuff. You got to park the rot uh, before you come to work, you know, yeah. because you've you've given them your word that you're there to 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 do a job and and to, to the best of your ability. So, uh, yeah, that I that I violated. Um, but again, you know, I didn't go to prison. I didn't kill anybody. Um, and so, so you I did an awful lot of harm to yourself. I that I that was yeah that this guy took the like, took the brunt of it. Yeah, you like know? you were just all that success and all that going on for you, and you just like drove the car into the wall almost. It feels doesn't at it? full speed. What? Yeah, at full speed with Freebird playing. Yeah. yeah. Do you rock call song. yourself? <laughs> it's, it's, well, my husband's been 15 years in recovery. Oh and wow. Some of what you're wow. saying there, where it almost feels like it's a different person when you're. When you talk about the, you know, and I remember when he was in rehab, and I'd have to go in and talk to him about the things that he'd done and the things that he'd sure, said, and he yeah. he very much said that it felt like another person. Yeah, and and, it, and then you get tired of apologizing for things you can't remember doing. Well, this is it, and that you know, whole thing within recovery of making amends with people is course. just a big deal, isn't it? A big part of getting better is to rid yourself of the shame and guilt exactly. by making those apologies, and yeah, that's but, an incredibly tough thing, isn't it? Uh, tough, but not impossible. Mm. Um, and and the amends can't just be words; they have to be actions. I know, you know? it's hard. It's, again, hard, but not impossible. Have um, you had therapy? Yeah, I, I, I graduated, actually. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, you know, I was in therapy, and I was like, is there... <laughs> yeah. I finally said to the guy, is, is, there, is, is there an end point here? Is there a point where you say, all right, man, you know, go back in the world, you're good. Um, and there isn't. It's no. kind of an ongoing Does that amends thing. list go on and on? I mean, I know my, my husband had his amends list that he would have to do. If and I was... think after a while, people were like, OK, yeah. Yeah, if, if it was a text, it'd be a foot uh, beneath my phone. Um, yeah, it's uh, but 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 you make them when 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 it's appropriate and 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 uh, it's 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 not about making them on your terms. It's about approaching others on on theirs. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. I think. Uh -huh. I think. Hey, uh, can I do a quick shout out? I'm sorry. Um, a buddy of mine named Noli, uh, who lives here. He's 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 my London connection. Um, he's uh, taking care of his sister uh, Rika who's in hospital uh, oh, as we speak. Okay. She's oh. fine, it's just a thing. 
but I think they're watching right now. Oh. So, I know. Oh. So, <laughs> I would I would be remiss if I didn't. Oh. If I didn't so point so what is out. life like now, Charlie? I mean, what is it's, life like? It's 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 exciting. I I essentially have nothing to promote today. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, you know, I thought about that, and actually, I, I, I do have something to promote. And you don't need to promote anything. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm promoting sanity. I'm yeah. promoting... Uh, thank you. Yeah. I'm, um, <laughs> I'm promoting a, 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 a sense of nobility and a, and a return to, to, uh, to a more innocent place, you know, and, and <clears throat> just gratitude and, and, mm. and knowing that, that whatever comes next work-wise... Um, that the version that I that I will deliver will 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 be spectacular. Are you are you confident of, of that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, sociopathically optimistic at times, <laughs> uh, but but uh, people call it delusional. But that's all right. If I'm not confident or optimistic about it, then then no one sure. else will be. It, you know? it can be a lonely. It can be a lonely thing though, can't it? Getting sober because the people that were around you, you have to. I said, you know, that with my husband, you have to make your world much smaller because you can't be around people that are drinking and using. This is using. true. This is true. Is it, yeah. does it, is it lonely sometimes? No, it's a relief. Is it? It is a relief. Yeah. I one of my resolutions was uh, no no house guests, no hosting. Mm. Yeah, and, yes. uh, you barred, you wanted no more than three people at your house mm. at one time or something. Yeah, well, past five, you're hosting. Uh, or at five, you're hosting. Right. right. Plus so one, you're, you're hosting. hosting. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Plus one, yeah. Do you, and, wait, and, you said you've been a year sober. 1.4. 1. 1.4. 1. Yeah, yes. That's a lot. 1. 1. 4. 4. <laughs> what happened 1.4 ago that made you fall off the wagon? What is it that makes you want to drink again or...? Well, I don't think there's anything left for me. There's really, there's no, uh, there's no disaster left to, <laughs> to engage. Um, I, but what uh, makes you reach for a drink? I, I don't, I just, I have a game plan and I, and I stick to it, you know? Um, and it's, as I said, there's nothing left in that world. I exhausted it completely. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing left would, would be something catastrophic. Even more so than that intro reel. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about that. Um, but you know, it's uh, there were times, and I've I've had time in the past. I had five years at one point, so it's not like someone's selling me a myth. Yeah. But every other time, I was I was led there through an intervention or or a rehab or a detox mm -hmm. or a thing. And this, you know, this last time, the the last time, um, I couldn't get my daughter to an appointment that she had. And so, and I don't drink and drive ever. I've never had a DUI, if you can believe that. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so I called my buddy Tony, and, and so we got her to the thing and then got her home. And I just, it was that, it was that night I was like, wow, I'm not even responsible enough to be available for my children's needs. Mm. And the next morning, I just woke up and said, today's the day. And that was oh, it. Today's cool. the day, that was it, yeah. What, that, that was what it. kind of, um, what kind of conversations do you have with your, your children then? I mean, you, you were diagnosed with HIV, I think it was 2011, but then you kind of became public about that in 2015. Sure. Did, did you have to have that conversation with your, your kids before you became yeah, public? I, yeah, I, I let them all know before I went on television with it. My oldest daughter, Cassandra, she's the one that, that, that took it the hardest. Um, mm. But I but I reassured her with the medicinal technology and 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 you know the progress that's been that's been made that uh, Dad's going to be fine you know. Uh, and but, I love but, that you and your wife Denise still hang out. I watch Housewives of Beverly. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I hey, you me. don't, do you? <laughs> I, I I don't I don't. Uh... I don't. No, we, we, we do our best to, to yeah. park all of our nonsense and, and be you know, responsible. Well, I think it's the sure yeah. sign that you have when she, she invited you to her wedding, didn't she? She did, and I, and I said, is it, is it going to be filmed? And she said, yes. And I said, well, then everybody enjoy. I won't be there. You know? <laughs> I just didn't feel, I didn't feel yeah. like I, I needed yeah, to Yeah, but she invited there, you, which was she a did. nice thing.